Today, we bring you a somber update on the passing of an iconic figure in the world of cinema. Shelley Duvall, known for her unforgettable roles in films such as The Shining and Popeye, has passed away at the age of 75. Her death marks the end of an era for a unique talent who left a lasting mark on Hollywood with her distinctive presence and remarkable performances. Shelley Duvall's career began almost by accident when she was discovered by director Robert Altman's crew at a party in Houston. Her debut role as Suzanne Davis in Brewster McCloud in 1970 launched her into the spotlight and started a long and fruitful collaboration with Altman. Over the next seven years, she starred in several of his films, including McCabe and Mrs. Miller, Thieves Like Us, Nashville, Buffalo Bill and the Indians, and Three Women. Duval's performance in Three Women was particularly celebrated, earning her the Best Actress Award at the Ken Film Festival. Her ability to embody a wide range of characters with authenticity and depth made her a beloved figure in the industry. Altman once described her as being able to swing all sides of the pendulum, charming, silly, sophisticated, pathetic, even beautiful. Perhaps one of her most iconic roles was that of Wendy Torrance in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. The film, adapted from Stephen King's novel, remains a horror classic, and Duval's portrayal of the tormented wife is a significant part of its lasting legacy. However, the filming process was notoriously grueling, with Kubrick demanding multiple takes of emotionally intense scenes, pushing Duval to her limits. In an interview, Duval described the experience as almost unbearable, with some scenes requiring over 100 takes. The role demanded that she cry for extended periods leading her to use music and personal memories to evoke the necessary emotions. Despite the toll it took on her, her performance remains one of the most memorable in horror film history. Beyond her work in film, Duval made significant contributions to children's television. She created, produced, and hosted the award-winning series Fairy Tale Theater which featured star-studded adaptations of classic fairy tales. Her dedication to creating quality entertainment for young audiences earned her two Emmy nominations and the Peabody Award. In the 1990s, Duval continued to work in both film and television, appearing in movies such as Frank and Weenie, The Portrait of a Lady, and Mana from Heaven and TV shows like The Twilight Zone and Frasier. Despite her success, she chose to retire from acting in 2002, stepping away from the spotlight to focus on her personal life. Duval's later years were marked by health challenges, including a battle with mental illness. In 2016, she made a rare public appearance on the talk show DR Phil, where she spoke candidly about her struggles. This episode sparked a conversation about mental health and the pressures faced by actors in Hollywood. Despite her retirement, Duval made a comeback in 2022 with a role in the indie horror film The Forest Hills. Her return to the screen after two decades was met with excitement from fans and colleagues alike. The film's director, Scott Goldberg, expressed his admiration for Duval, praising her resilience and dedication to her craft. Shelley Duval passed away in her sleep on July 9, 2024, at her home in Blanco, Texas, due to complications from diabetes. Her life partner, Dan Gilroy, and her brothers survive her. Gilroy shared a heartfelt statement, saying, Just like the birds she cared for and loved from the time they were babies, I feel her flying free, no suffering, lots of joy. As we reflect on Shelley Duval's legacy, it's clear that she was more than just an actress, 
she was a trailblazer who brought a unique touch to every role she played. Her contributions to both film and television have left an indelible mark, and her work continues to inspire new generations of performers and creators. In this segment, we also want to address some of the questions our viewers might have about Shelley Duvall's life and career. What was Shelley Duvall's breakthrough role? Shelley Duvall's breakthrough role was as Suzanne Davis in Brewster McCloud, directed by Robert Altman. How many films did Shelley Duvall collaborate on with Robert Altman? Shelley Duvall starred in seven films, directed by Robert Altman. What was the most challenging role for Shelley Duvall? Her role as Wendy Torrance in The Shining was the most challenging due to the intense demands of the filming process. What awards did Shelley Duvall win during her career? She won the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her role in Three Women and received two Emmy nominations for her work in children's television. What children's television series did Shelley Duvall create? She created Fairy Tale Theater, Tall Tales and Legends, and Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories. What caused Shelley Duvall to retire from acting in 2002? Shelley Duvall chose to retire to focus on her personal life and health. When did Shelley Duvall make her comeback to acting? She made her comeback in 2022 with a role in the indie horror film The Forest Hills. What were Shelley Duvall's major contributions to children's entertainment? She produced and hosted innovative children's programming, including Fairy Tale Theater, which brought classic fairy tales to life with A list stars. How did Shelley Duvall address her mental health struggles publicly? She appeared on the talk show D.R. Phil in 2016, where she spoke about her mental health challenges. What was Shelley Duvall's cause of death? Shelley Duvall passed away due to complications from diabetes. Shelley Duvall's story is one of resilience, creativity, and undeniable talent. Her legacy will continue to live on through the many memorable performances she gave us and the groundbreaking work she did in children's television. Her life reminds us of the importance of mental health awareness and the impact of perseverance in the face of adversity. Thank you for joining us today as we remember Shelley Duvall, a true icon of the screen. For more stories and updates, be sure to follow our channel.